Bravo Overland. I am your host, Danger Close, and on today's episode, we'll be installing a high clearance uh, hybrid bumper from Rough Country. Uh, what drew me to this particular bumper was the fact that you could buy it as a combo and it was very inexpensive. So, for this particular setup, I got the, the high clearance uh, hybrid bumper, a 20 inch light bar, and a 12,000 pound winch. And it came out to $1,558 shipping. It was free shipping, which was another con for it. Uh, you don't necessarily have to buy the combo. Uh, you can just either get the, the bumper itself. Uh, I think it was $800. Or if you don't want the side wings and just, just the, the front bumper without the wings, it was $600. Uh, you have a choice between two different styles of winches. You got the 9,000 pound winch, which was, I believe, $150 cheaper, or you can uh, upgrade for 150 bucks, get the 12,000 pound winch. I opted for the 12,000 pound winch, and the light bar itself was, I believe, an extra $100 to come out to a grand total of $1,558. So you, you get a bang for your buck. Now, to install this, you do have to cut your front bumper. Uh, I recommend a oscillating tool. I got mine off of eBay for 60 bucks. Uh, if you work on your truck just as much as I do, it's a good, a good tool to have, especially when I have to go and install uh, my rear bumper. Uh, the, the tool pretty much uh, pays for itself. One thing that the bumper didn't come with is this rubber U-shaped trim. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, for I believe it was fourteen dollars for thirty feet, more than enough to cover, you know the the cut you make. Uh, I recommend it just to give that nice look to it, uh, not that just sloppy look. But uh, let me start doing my measurements, putting the tape, and I'll come back and uh, show you guys how to tape it off and how to measure it. Measure it. Um, I'm going by the, for this install, I'm going by the instructions. Now, Rough Country uh, isn't known for giving good instructions or more detailed instructions on their installation manuals. So, what I'll do is I'll measure out, cut it the way the instructions uh, tell me to do it. After I make the cut, oh, I hope I did everything correctly. Uh, if everything goes good, I'll make more accurate measurements and I'll include that into the video. That way, if you do get this particular bumper set up, uh, you can you know, eliminate the doubt and have accurate measurements. But let's get, in, let's get into the install. All right, we've just finished measuring and taping off for the cut for the bumper. And according to the instructions, the install manual, you're supposed to measure one fourth of an inch from this part of the grill and I drew a line but this is where it gets kind of hazy when it comes to instruction so you got to do one fourth this way this way from the bumper and you got to tape along this line right here for your cut and hope to God you keep this the tape straight and come around now the tape is going to angle up slightly so that's normal with the contours of the bumper the bumper wing angles up a little so i'm going to measure again this to double check before i do the cut and uh when i get done cutting and installing the bumper if everything fits all right I will do you guys a solid if you guys are planning on getting this bumper is I'm gonna make measurements and tape off from where I cut all the way, oh sorry, from where I cut all the way up. And that way you guys have a reference so you guys can tape mark. And always remember, measure twice, cut once. Especially when it comes to this because once I start cutting, there's no turning back. So, I mean, worst case scenario, well, no, see, because I'm doing it all one shot. But, yep, measure 
twice, cut once. All right, well now we're gonna, we got it all taped off, measured out one fourth from the line. And the way the instructions told us from uh, Rough Country, I'm gonna take my oscillating tool. Uh, this is a Galaxy Pro. Uh, it was $60, it came with a 24 piece, which included a sander, this plastic cutting tool, something to cut metal. Uh, I've never used one of these tools before, but uh, I hear nothing but good things about them, uh, especially when it comes to body work and chopping stuff off. off. These things are good, so I invested 60 bucks to see how, how I like it. They do make name brands such as Milwaukee and Rigid and uh, DeWalt, but I wanted one with a cord, not a battery powered one. So I went with this one and it was cheap. Uh, if I like it, I'll, I'll probably upgrade uh, to a Rigid. But uh, let's get cutting. Uh, so let's see. One thing you wanna do before you start cutting is if you have Under Armour, I mean the original factory skid plate, you want to kind of take it off. Rough Country does supply you with this package that I forgot to mention in the beginning with a, with a aftermarket skid plate, which is awesome. No matter what one you get combo for this bumper, you will get a skid plate with it. Since I have the, the CBI uh, full armor on the bottom, I'm not installing the skid plate. Um, I was going to give it away uh, online to a subscriber. But I think you need the bumper because I see the bolt points to the bumper. Uh, if you have a Tacoma out there, you need a skid plate and you're, you want to fabricate your own you know, brace for it, hit me up in the comments and I'll be more than happy uh, to send you the skid plate. But let's get cutting. Now that we have this upper portion, this was the easy part. This didn't worry me so much uh, because you can actually screw up right here and, and clean it up real good and the bumper will hide it. <sighs> it is this part that worries me. Now, once I start this and cut all the way up, there's no hiding it. Uh, at least a cheap way to hide it. So, that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm putting myself on the line to test this out, the measurements, the instructions, uh, so you guys don't make the same mistakes I will, or I, I do. Um, <laughs> this has been eating at me for a while, but uh, yeah, let, let us pray. <laughs> God, please, please let these measurements be correct. Oh, please, 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 please let these measurements be correct. All right, let's do it. If you notice I'm cutting just a tiny tiny centimeter below the tape that's just so I can have a little tiny wiggle room but it's coming nicely
right, so we finished cutting all the way around. He's actually really good. I'll trim that out later. So this should just fall right off. Or not, oh yeah, there's two pins. It looks like screws and the bolts in the meat here. Uh, let me go get my gun, then I can unbolt them. But, oh boy. Yep. Okay, let me go get my bolt. And then I can trim this all up. Finished up uh, trimming it up, you know, get, getting it somewhat decent. Uh, I trimmed up the the Will Wealth uh, cover, nice and neat. So I'll be back in a few to uh, start showing you guys how to take off the hardware. It's dinner time for me, and I'll be back probably at night. It's too dang hot here in California. It's probably like a hundred or something right now. I'm sweating. But uh, yeah, I'll be back to show you how to take off the front bumper and then we'll try to get this installed. Hopefully I don't need any help to lift it and get it all lined up. If not, I got a fix for that too. Um, other than that, I mean, it's killing me. I don't know if this thing's gonna fit correctly or not. And I can't know until I take off this, this and slide her in and make the adjustments. But uh, it looks good. I mean, the cut looks good. So there's a couple other things I gotta take off underneath here, but yeah, the cut looks good. All right, back. Uh, quick wardrobe change, and obviously the lining is filled. I uh, have to put the kiss to bed. All right, so next we are gonna take off these brackets right here. There's one over here, one on the other side, and then there's a hook. I should have took it off when I put on the other armor, but I just kept it for that added protection, uh, especially when I go down rocks, but we can get rid of it. They are, oh. Uh, they're 17 millimeter bolts. Now, when you take them off, you can actually throw it away, but I tend to keep them just in case. Like all the bolts that they tell me to throw away, I end up keeping. Because you never know. You never know. You'll, you'll end up with a whole bunch of collection of bolts, but it's always good to have. It's in the middle of the night, so I can't use any of my impact guns. That's why this is two segments, uh, two different times, is because I had to cut my bumper when the sun was still up, so I didn't interrupt the neighbors. All right, so you're gonna take off this hook, tow hook. This is welded on, so you keep it on. All right, next. Uh, Pull off this plastic part. You know, when did bumpers get so cheap? Like I just stand on this thing to look under the hood and it wants to break. You know, bef before you had bumpers that you could <laughs> hit a brick wall and do no damage you know okay this you can throw away definitely don't need that anymore so this is called a push bar I guess so you're gonna take this there's three bolts I mean three nuts over here you're gonna take this off and you can get rid of this don't keep this keep the hardware though just just in case uh, let me At this point, okay, wow, well, it's like a 15. So you're gonna keep the nuts on this one, even though I don't think you don't, you need them because there's another bar behind this you gotta take off. So, but just in case, take this off and keep the, keep the, keep the nuts handy, just in case. 14. Oh, it's a 14. 
All right, so these three nuts are 14 millimeter. So I'm going with metric because my old job, the cars were all metric. Three bolts on each side, so six all together. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my gun, loosen them up and use my gun. Because the gun ain't gonna be that loud, it's just a small Milwaukee. Now at least you have air tools. You're gonna have to hand jam them on, off, loosen them up. Okay, let me grab my. That's deep. One, two, three. Keep all the hardware. Separated from all the crap you're taking off because this shit this stuff is not going back on but there's some other stuff this sucker right off this is aluminum hollowed out aluminum and this is when you get into an accident this is supposed to keep you alive bullshit all right so next is these two mounts uh, again three bolts I believe they're 14s Boom, 14s. All right. Interesting. Okay. I'm trying to be careful from the AC condenser right here. Is that what that is? Looks like it. I don't want to break it. They do sell a relocation kit for this, uh, so you can move it back. Train. I know these bolts you need, uh, these nuts you need, because this butts up right up. Uh, your new bumper comes up to right here, and you use the same hardware. So, fudge, 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 fudge. I'm debating if I should take this bracket off or loose and slide it back and then zip tie it to something. I think I might do that. See, that was the option. I know they sell a, a, a replacement mounting bracket by CBI makes it. For because they have to relocate this when they install their bumper and witches. Let's see, in the rough country, yeah, there we go. Relying on the rough country instructions. Uh, they said they, they didn't mention this. But it looks like it has clear. I have this sucker all ready to go. Alright. <laughs> uh, I 
put on the edging on this one. It won't fit on this, so I think the bumper goes over it. Um, here's the fun part. All right, this is really a two-man job. I can lift it. The hard part is going to have me lining it up. Now, keep in mind for you guys at home, I'm 40 years old. Uh, in my younger days, I used to bull ride, bronc ride, so I, my body took a beating doing that. At 29, I joined the Army, been to Afghanistan twice, been shot, blown up. My body ain't what it used to be. In fact, for all you old, time, old timers, well, I guess old middle aged guys, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna give it a shot and try to do it solo. I kind of figured out if I, I, if I lift it, deadlift it, and I look with my hood up, I look in between the grill and the radiator, I can see the bolt, so I should be able to line it up. Now, the bolts aren't long enough where I can rest it on there, but I will give it a shot. So, prepare for comedy hour. But if I can get this thing on, it looks like, it looks like, it looks like that this winch isn't gonna interrupt this cooling pipe right here. I hope. But uh, I haven't got it fully on and tightened it up yet, so. Once I get the thing seated, then it, sh it sh should tell me. Worst case scenario is I'll loosen up, I'll loosen it up from the other side and uh, push it back and zip tie it. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh. So. Two, work smarter not harder. I brought up my jack stands. I'm gonna try to get it up on the jack stands and hopefully I can get it to rest where I can sit down and actually maneuver it uh, pretty good and not ex expend a whole bunch of energy. So, I re all right. So well, let's try this one more time. Make sure everything's all lined up. I think that should be good. All right. So, the bumper itself weighs 107 pounds. I don't know what the the winch weighs, but I believe it's more than 100 pounds, or at least close to 100 pounds. Uh, it is pretty heavy. It's all motor, so. All right. I'm trying, I'm trying not to lift on my back. It's hard to get that angle. Okay, there we go. After two attempts, I decided to take the wings off because I had a feeling that was holding me back. And lo and behold, it was. Took the wings off, lifted it just the way I did in the previous uh, attempts, slid right on. Whew. <sighs> two people. Oh, let me turn this light off, sorry. I'm so tired. Two people, two people. No wings. If you do attempt to do it the way I did it, please be careful. Uh, I, I lifted it up, put it on, kneel down, make sure you push this thing hard to, uh, to the back because I got it on the first time and I didn't put enough pressure and it slid off. So I had to take the whole thing down, reposition, get it back lined up again and then boom, it went right on. So. I got everything all good to go, ready to go. All right, I hear an electric car. Uh, let me bolt it, bolt this stuff up and then we'll install the wings. I got the wings back on and looks good, 
that side seems perfect this side I might have cut it a little too low which is fine it's not too bad uh, nothing a little trimming couldn't fix but all in all I'll leave I'll trim this later uh, see how it goes but it lines up perfect uh, on the other side I think I'll, I'll do another I'll show it yeah I, I cut it perfect on the other side but I'll do a, a daytime follow-up uh, I didn't want to film me putting the wings back on it's just for um, for 13 millimeter bolts on the inside uh, I got the sucker going at least got it on now I got to rewire the winch up to the battery the light up to the battery and then I got to hook up the the hook and put the uh, the guide in so I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of of watching that tedious stuff it's pretty self-explanatory on how to do that um, all right so we finish the install I know it's kind of late but uh, I drove it around it's been a couple days so uh, I tested it out but I changed the, the hook out there and put this shank on there uh, from what I read it's much safer it uh, prevents slippage and all that kind of stuff but I told you guys once I get done I'll do the measurements so this is how you measure it out you don't have to do it this way but this is the way so right here is the cre the line that goes underneath your headlight so you want to put the, the tape on the bottom of that follow this to this corner right here straight across to this corner and then you want to come down to where this crease, sorry, this crease right here. Let me push my shadow light. That corner right there. All right. So your first measurement, you're going to, there's a line right here where your fender bends. You want to put that tape on that crease and measure down eight inches and th uh, eight and three eighths of an inch. And then next one, there's another line right here. You want to go seven and three fourths of an inch down from the top of this tape right here down from the top all the way seven and three fourths now from from your from this from right there in that corner where this crease meets the fender you want to measure down seven and a half and for your final cut <clears throat> Uh, your final measurement you want to do two and a half inches from that center bolt right there two and a half inches down and that should give you if you want to cut more down it's all right or just a little up but uh all in all i came up really good uh not bad for Going off our off country's instructions, which, like I said, was a little vague. This side was a little better than the other. I mean, I'll show the other side. Well, it wasn't too bad. The other side, this side, wasn't too, too bad. But it's like, you know, I, I came up a little. It's unnoticeable, not unless you really look at it. Uh... Like I said, it's a couple days since I installed it. I took it off-roading, uh, looking for a new trail. We were heading out to Death Valley, but that kind of fell through. So, I highly recommend this bumper. It's a really good bumper. Uh, I messed around with the winch. The winch is really good. I'll do a review on the winch when I get out on the trail. And I can tie this sucker up to a tree and see what she can do. Um, the light is really bright. Once again, once I get out, I'll, uh, do a video on how bright the light is. All in all, installation, I give it an 8 out of 10 for the fact that, about the me measurements. Uh, and you see me struggling putting it on. The easiest way to put it on is you take the wings off, the side wings, and then put it on. You can do it yourself, uh, putting it on. 
it's going to take a little upper body strength but yeah you can definitely put it on uh by yourself just remember take off the wings because the wings are going to catch on the the panels of your bumper where you cut and it's going to catch and give you a hard time so take off the wings install uh tighten it up and then install the wings the four bolts is after that is pretty gravy uh what else it looks good i'm get. I've, i mean i've been getting compliments on the bumper so now i just got tested out on the trail uh wiring was super super easy um it's pretty self-explanatory the winch positive negative straight to the battery the light bar uh, i ran into my control switch which was positive negative right to the control switch um for the light bar you can cut off all that uh relay and and fuse and stuff like that if you have a light switch uh, and just run it direct that's what i usually do uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i'll be i'll answer them as soon as possible i'll leave a link uh to rough country for the bumper i wish i had a promo code for you guys but i'm not sponsored by rough country so uh, next, I just got in the mail uh, a Rough Country cold air intake, non-tuned cold air intake. Um, I'm going to install that next. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment below. Hit that notification button. I'm going to try to get out on the trail as soon as possible. Um, but other than that, you guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy. Once again, ask me any questions.